it started like 25 years ago so they started with just very few they found this church as their home and where their faith also is being replenished to be here means a blessing for me to serve these people and also a blessing for me because this community also inspires my vocation. Well, uh, knowing that a lady of helper Christians has a very strong Filipino community uh, and to know that the Filipino Mass is here uh, is actually great joy. One thing I know about the Filipino community is that they're very faithful. We are very religious and we are very pious in terms of coming to church. The Philippines are actually a product of missionaries. When we travel abroad, we bring that faith and we become a missionary to other countries. Here in the Diocese of Brooklyn, Queens, Filipinos are missionaries. Because even if we don't preach about our faith, they see in us, every time we go to church, every time we gather together, they feel God in our midst. How important is it that the Mass is actually spoken in Tagalog? This is the way also, way back home, we are not strange people here. It's an our own language. We understand each other, It's even though we understand English, but it's different. It's like your home, really. And we want also to make known to our kids that that's that what our trademark as a Filipino. Liturgically speaking, there's no difference. The only thing that I feel every time we celebrate a Filipino Mass is they feel like celebrating with the family members because everybody knows everybody. So you feel like at home. Every time the Filipino gathers, it is a symbol of a community who loves the Lord. The church becomes the second home. This is also where all of everybody knows everybody. This is where my kids grow and then now they're big. I want them also to know that this is not just merely a church, but a family, a family of faith and a family that nurtures and supports each other. If you want to paint a good picture, you don't only use one color. This is what happens in our Lady Help of Christian. We have different groups, Filipino group, Lord's Black, and our Filipino community. They have different knowledge about their own faith, but when we're together, we build up a good community, bringing each other's love. It's not just the sharing of faith, but also it strengthens us. So how does it feel to finally be able to come back to Filipino Mass and see the Filipino community come back together after such a long time? There's always an excitement for us to hear the words from the bishop that you can now start the Mass again. So it is not just me who feels that excitement, but all of us. Actually, the coordinator Tess texted me and he was so happy. I cannot even describe my feelings. I almost like in tears. I don't know what to say. This is my life. This is the one that I, I don't know if I can survive America without this church, without the Filipino community here. So the excitement is there. We feel like we're hungry for the Lord, and now the Lord is here with us again. Those who are Well, um, the message to the, all the Filipinos, no matter where they are, is that they're welcome. They're welcome here to our Lady Help of Christians. They're welcome to that first Sunday of the month uh, to that Mass. But not only them, they're always welcome here uh, to our parish of our Lady Help of Christians. And my message is, we're here. We are here for you. We're here to pray for you. And also, if the time comes, if we go back to normal, then we will be with you again. I would, this is what I would say, thank you and welcome back to everybody. It's nice to see everyone again. It's nice to feel home again, even though because we are like so scattered now, we are together and we are united in this church back again. Thank you and praise God for everything, in spite of everything, and may God bless us all.